Live, love, Africa. What's your excuse for not coming? Please subscribe. Hello, I'm Guinness the Mirror. Greetings, everyone. It is Dynasty the Mirror Search for a Guru. Thank you so much for joining us. Before we get started, make sure you go to DynastyMirror.com. Go to DynastyMirror.com. Please subscribe to our email list so you guys can stay up to date in regards to what's going on with the Dynasty Mirror brand. Also, go to Amazon.com. Go to Amazon.com. Buy a book. I've written several books, so please support and, and buy one. Uh, also, go to our merchandise store. Okay, our merchandise store here on YouTube and buy our merchandise. We got merch, guys. We got merch. Please support Ile Amir, House of Amir. Please support. We have the Africa is the Future shirts. We have Africa is the Now shirts. We have Africa is my therapy shirts. So please go to the merch store and buy a shirt. So today's topic, today's news, uh, you know, this hits close to home because I don't know if you guys know. Uh, I contracted coronavirus. So, uh, end of March, I contracted coronavirus. I was in and out of the hospital uh, for about a week. Uh, it took me about three weeks to fully recover. But, I, I mean, it's, it's serious. Uh, coronavirus is something that should not be played with. But at the same time, I don't want to fear monger. I mean, go out, enjoy life, go smell the roses, go walk the park, you know, go get your hair cut, go hit the gym. Again, enjoy life. Just protect yourself. You know, if you're around crowds of large, if you're around, if you're around large crowds, put your mask on. You know, wash your hands. Make sure you're taking your vitamin C, your vitamin D, your black seed oil. You're drinking plenty of water. You know, again, just protect yourself. Enjoy life, but just make sure make sure you protect yourself so you can enjoy life. So the president of Burundi, Pierre Nkurunziza. Uh, at first, it was reported that he passed away from a heart attack, but now they're saying he passed away from coronavirus. And this is, he is the first, or this is the first head of state to pass away from the illness. So the question becomes now, how does this affect uh, coronavirus protocol? I mean, this is the head of state. This is a president. You know, presidents are well protected or should be. So how does a president contract coronavirus? And they're saying, I think from what I understand, I think his wife caught it too and his mother, I believe. So if a president could catch it, what does that mean? If a head of state could catch it, what does that mean? So how does that affect uh, coronavirus protocol moving forward? Uh, you know, my Nigeria, at the end of this month, they're going to reopen the international airports in Abuja and Lagos, um, or Tala Muhammad. So they're going to be accepting international flights again. But it's just the issue. Yeah, it's good news because I miss Nigeria. I can't wait to get back home. Omo Naija, I cannot wait to get back home. But the problem is when I arrive, when I come to Nigeria, I'm going to have to, number one, go into a, go into a 14 day quarantine, which defeats the purpose of going. And then also too, you're gonna have to show some type of proof uh, that you, are coronavirus free. So I think they want the, you to bring test results that you've gotten, uh, that you took a coronavirus test within, I think, two weeks before travel or a week before travel, showing that you're coronavirus free. You know, but that can change now because a head of state just passed away from coronavirus. That can now further delay uh, opening up the uh, borders because, I mean, you have a head of state that passed away. You know, now I know, you know, countries in Africa are like, okay, if this head of state can get it, can our head of state uh, catch the uh, diseases, could possibly catch the disease as well? So we don't want to risk that. So that's my concern now. I mean, guys, I want you guys to comment in the, uh, com in the, in the you know, leave your comment. Let me know what you guys' thoughts on this. So the first head of state on the planet passes away from coronavirus. How is that going to affect travel? Uh, opening up of borders, quarantine. You know, Nigeria has been on lockdown since March. They're supposed to get off a of lockdown in of March. They're supposed to get off a of lockdown in of April. They're supposed to get off a of lockdown in uh, uh, of May. 
there's still a lockdown now. It's supposed to, and it's supposed to open back up in this month. I mean, we don't know. So hopefully, you know, you know. First of all, I'm sorry. I should have said this at the beginning. My condolences to uh, uh, President Nkuruziza's family. Uh, you know, it's just again, this is a tough illness. Like I said, I caught it. You know, and I couldn't breathe. I couldn't walk. And I and I say I'm in shape. I'm I'm healthy. I take care of myself. But it, it hit me hard. So I could only imagine. I lost like almost 30 pounds. So if it hit me and I'm in shape, you know, if it hit if it had this type of effect on me, I can just imagine the effect it can have uh, on somebody with a pre-existing condition. That's why they're saying people with pre-existing conditions are the ones who are really succumbing to the disease. Because you know, I wouldn't wish this on anybody. I mean, huh, oh man, it was it was it was tough. It was tough, but I'm healthy now. I'm back in the gym. You know, back enjoying life. And that's my message. You know, guys. Coronavirus isn't going anywhere uh, anytime soon. So with that being said, just protect yourself. You know, just again, protect yourself. Wear your mask if you're around large crowds. Uh, take your vitamin C, your vitamin D, your black seed oil, drink plenty of water, boost that Im- immune system. Um, you know, stay active. You know, just all that stuff. Because again, it's not going anywhere. But you still got to enjoy life unless you just want to be in the house all day, you know, and nobody wants to be in the house all day. Um, so, again, this is this is just it's, it's an interesting time. And I hate to see the president pass away. So we'll see how this is going to affect, you know, Africa uh, in regards to opening up its borders. So, guys, everyone, thank you so much for joining. Uh, make sure you like, share and subscribe as well. Until next time, family, Dynasty Mirror, search for Huru. Peace. And I forgot to add this as well. Since you have to have proof that you are coronavirus free when you enter Nigeria through Lagos or Abuja, um, what's going to come down the pipeline next, right? And I've said this before, just prepare for it. The the same way you have to have a yellow fever card, you're going to have to have a coronavirus. When the vaccine comes out, you're going to have to have a coronavirus proof of coronavirus vaccine card as well so my anti-vax family what are you going to do you know that that's that's the question uh what are you going to do now what are you going to do next because i'm going to africa i'm rolling i gotta tell you to take a vaccine you know of course i want to see the trials and you know make sure the vaccine is okay and safe but you know what, what are you going to do are you going to take the vaccine or are you not because that's coming down the pipeline next all right, in order to travel, just the same way you have to have your yellow fever card, you're going to have to have your coronavirus card. Because, again, they already are asking for proof that you don't have it. So when the vaccine comes out, I guarantee you it's going to be, you got to have proof that you've taken that vaccine. So, you know, just wanted to add that piece. So, you know, leave your comments uh, down below and let's talk about it. Dynasty Mirror, search for who? Peace.